Hello all. Let us now start deploying the agents on some of the servers. And I have taken uh, AWS EC2 instance, uh, which I've created here, and I have logged in. So this is the Dynapay, Dynatrace uh, login uh, page or default page. Let us scroll to the bottom and say deploy Dynatrace. And then we have to click on start installation. And then there are a lot of OS flavors that we get like Windows, Linux, AS, Solaris, Lambda, Kubernetes, OpenShift, etc. So let's click on Windows and then there's a pass token. Copy, paste. We can either do this by creating a token, which I've already done earlier, or we can click on Donor Agent. Now, once we have got this, it's the same either we, we can transfer the agent from this location to the location where it is to be installed or just copy this go to the server and then paste it and then execute so once we execute it starts creating something like this so let's wait for it to complete Okay, it is done, it has downloaded this. So now let's try to run the installer. So I'm gonna give you a little background. So basically when we copy the command from the Dynatrace, and then paste it over here which means that it it, it says that this is uh, the the management server of the dynamic trace is cog49039 and then other prerequisite parameters that needs to be pointing to the management server so let's click on next next so advanced setting not necessary let's click on install so it may take a moment or two to install So if we use the PowerShell method, it uh, helps us in not downloading the agent or copying the agent from one place to the other. Rather, it helps in a local download and then install. So in a place where we cannot transfer the files from one location to other, this PowerShell method is a better option. So the setup is almost complete. Yep, it is complete. Yes, congratulations, the Dynatrace one agent was successfully installed. Let's click on finish. So now let's go to services.mse and uh, sorry, the uh, program. And we can see one agent is installed, Dynatrace one agent is installed. And then if you go to services.mse, to validate whether Dynatrace one agent is installed on it or not. Okay, we can see Dynatrace one agent is installed. Awesome. Let's go back to Dynatrace. So this is installed. Let's click on deployment status. Okay, we can see that this is one of the server. Let's validate the host name. Uh, okay. EC2 AMAZ Ivan JJ zero R O Q D. Awesome. So this is how the agent will get installed. It says you want to monitor the SSM agent. Enable monitoring. Enable monitoring. Beautiful. So let's click on host in the left pane. We can see this host is monitored.
so this is it thank you